This video is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Puerto Vallarta is one of the cities I have lived for five years in Mexico. It attracts many tourists. And if you plan on visiting Puerto Vallarta as well, I have compiled a list with the best things to do and have a great time. And what you should do to make your trip to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico memorable. Hello travelers. Welcome everybody, this is Anthony, also known as the Travel Droner. Here on this channel, we create videos discussing amazing travel facts and amazing destinations. Join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top 10 best things to do in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Number 1. Conchas Chinas Puerto Vallarta is a place that people visit for its beaches, which is why you will be finding many incredible beaches on this list where you can rest and relax. We'll be starting with Conchas Chinas, which is a beach located south of Puerto Vallarta between forests and mountains. The name Conchas Chinas means Chinese shells, referring to the type of shell found only on the beaches of Conchas Chinas. There are many water sport activities that you can do here at Conchas Chinas, including scuba diving and snorkeling under the supervision of guides. You can also hire a surfing board or a jet ski if you want to take on the waters. There are also many restaurants and bars over here where you can have some drinks and have a nice affordable local meal. Also, the drinks aren't that expensive either, making Conchas Chinas a nice beach to visit if you are on a budget and you will love the greenery and mountains surrounding it. Number 2. Casa 449 Speaking of food, it's no secret that Mexico is a fantastic country to visit if you are a food lover. In Puerto Vallarta, some amazing restaurants are serving authentic and delicious Mexican food. But one restaurant that just stands out in the city is Casa 449. Casa 449 is a family-run restaurant, and it isn't as old as other family-run Mexican restaurants in the city. However, the reason why Casa 449 is better than other restaurants is that the managers here are trained as international chefs in some of the most expensive Mexican restaurants in Spain and Mexico. The menu is contemporary cuisine with local flavors, and it's pretty limited. But the gourmet style is something that makes your experience so good that you would want to eat here again and again. This place is located on the outskirts of Zona Romantica, only nine blocks from the sea. However, the area is less populated with tourists, so this place is quite underrated. The staff is cooperative, and the overall hospitality is amazing. And the biggest plus point of this restaurant is that it is affordable for what you get served in a nice presentation on your plate. Good ambience, great food, and affordability. What else do you want? Number 3. Whale Watching Mexican bays allow you to witness the aquatic life. It's up to you whether you want to witness it from the bay or you want to go snorkeling or scuba diving to get a better insight and an experience that you won't forget your entire life. Go whale watching, which is one of the most popular things to do in Puerto Vallarta. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and this is one of the reasons why tourists crowd the Banderas Bay from mid-December to the end of March to witness humpback whales jumping out of the waters when trying to impress the females nearby and giving you a whale show that you will never forget. The best way to go whale watching is to go with an organized expedition. You can witness whales from close up to get a much better experience, and there are many tours that you can choose from. The best tour is the one where you will also have a marine biologist with you on the boat explaining everything you need to know about whales. Number 4. Zona Romantica Zona Romantica is the area where lovers flock to have the time of their lives with their significant half. You could call it Puerta Vallarta's Romantic Zone, and you could come here with your partner and have a great time regardless of your sexual preference. Because the great thing about Puerto Vallarta is that it is LGBT friendly and people who belong to this community are not judged, nor are they harmed in any way. You can also find LGBT bars in Zona Romantica as people here believe that love is for everyone and it's everyone's choice who they want to love. Regardless of your sexual orientation, you will love Zona Romantica, and there are beaches nearby as well. And oh yes, there are many amazing international restaurants over here. But you can also have authentic Mexican food restaurants or simple local food stalls. The experience is one of a kind here. Number 5. Banderas Bay 
Banderas Bay is the biggest bay in Mexico, but it's also one of the deepest and largest bays in the world. At 42 kilometers wide, it is in amongst the 10 largest in the world. Banderas Bay forms part of the very exclusive World's Most Beautiful Bays Club, seated in France with a 68-kilometer coastline. However, even if you are not a fan of whale watching, there are many amazing things that you can do at Banderas Bay. You can get out on the water with a jet ski or a surfing board, or you can just sit back, apply some sunscreen, and enjoy the nice sunny weather at the beaches with some margaritas. It protects the city from hurricanes and keeps the shoreline more tranquil. If you are on a higher budget, you can hire your private luxury yacht with a captain or go for a snorkeling tour on a yacht an amazing place to visit if you are looking to have a nice family picnic or a sunset cruise. Number six, food tours. If you are a foodie like me, you can check out the famous Taco Adventure Tour, where you can visit several Mexican food stalls serving Mexican food items like tacos, quesadillas, churros, sopes, pozole, and much more. It's all a great way to socialize with other food lovers as well. You can also check out the Puerto Vallarta Mixology Tour if you are more into different types of drinks, including tequila, mezcal, micheladas, and others. Plus, you also get to have delicious tacos and scrumptious desserts. You can also learn cooking from an international chef who will teach you how to cook authentic Mexican dishes and some very useful tips and tricks. A great thing to learn if you are visiting Puerto Vallarta. Number seven, Playa Los Muertos. Playa Los Muertos is one of the most popular and most visited beaches in downtown Vallarta. You can either play volleyball, find various water sports activities, or just have a nice cocktail and relax on your chair or mat. Restaurants, live music, message services, boating, swimming classes, and other activities are accessible at this beach. You'll see many street vendors selling anything you can think of from food to electronics, but be careful that some can be a little forceful and insistent and for sure overpriced. So start polishing your negotiation skills in case you want to buy something. According to locals, the name Playa Los Muertos comes from the place's tragic past when pirates used to attack locals who were ordered to bring down the gold they collected on the hills via donkeys during the colonial period. The name is a mournful reminder of Puerto Vallarta's terrible past. Today, it is a tourist heaven downtown where everybody meets at dawn to see the beautiful sunset of Puerto Vallarta. Number 8. Misma Loya Misma Loya is a small fishing village, and if you have seen the movie Night of the Iguana, you can relate to the village a bit as Misma Loya was the setting for this movie. Misma Loya is surrounded by a small forest and has a large number of beach restaurants to choose from. The beach in Misma Loya is not massive in any way, but it is quite beautiful. In a remote cove surrounded by jungle, Misma Loya is known for its namesake beach, cozy open-air eateries, and upmarket restaurants serving Mexican seafood dishes. Don't miss out to visit this part of town. Number 9. Historical Center Downtown Puerta Vallarta Center and its cobblestone streets are a must-visit when the sun sets with wonderful restaurants, cafes on every corner. Walk around the beach and boardwalk, Malecon. Lots of shopping and street vendors and street performers are to be seen here. The lively ambience at dawn. Walk to Old Vallarta. Get lost in the countless galleries that Vallarta has to offer to go over to the artwork district during your walk. Expect to see interesting, beautiful, creative, and unusual pieces of art. You can admire them or buy them. A wonderful way to see local art. Support galleries, enjoy refreshments or ice cream, and walk through the gallery district. This is a must when going to Puerta Vallarta. Stop at a local food stand and give it a try. Even if you don't know what they are selling, just buy it and try it. Number 10. Los Arcos National Marine Park. We have told you about the amazing beaches you can visit here in Puerto Vallarta. You should head to the Los Arcos National Marine Park. There are many reefs where you can dive and do snorkeling or scuba diving. There are tunnels you can swim through underwater. There are also caves that you can explore. Los Arcos is a protected area and is also famous for its huge variety of marine life and birds on the island. You can also rent a private boat and go tour it. Ecological Marine Reserve Los Arcos National Park is home to manta rays and turtles and popular for snorkeling and diving among its rocky outcrops. Nearby Vallarta Zoo on land allows visitors to feed its hippos and 
monkeys. That is also an option to combine it with the excursion together and have a wonderful day. You will not forget that anytime soon. So that's all the time we had today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel to view more of our amazing videos. Oh, and do hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. See you all next time. Adios.